Happy Saturday, my good old friends of YouTube. It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So you saw the title. We're going to go over this AI stock that I'm personally in right now that I think is on the verge of breaking out. And quite frankly, it just doesn't get much love in this market. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But the company, the stock is AMD Advanced Micro Devices. And we have to break down the charts and some numbers here. We'll dive into some numbers later in the video. So guys, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and check out the mailing list. Make sure to join it. It's linked down below in the description box. It's free. I'm sending you guys my top three stocks every single Monday right to your inbox. So again, it's linked down below and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so advanced micro devices as of around 11 a.m right now on friday when i'm making this video you're watching it on saturday either way it's relevant it's currently down about one percent and earlier in the day, we were at $169 per share, and now we're at about $166 per share, which you guys can see, that's where we've been chopping around, not just today, but yesterday as well. We hit about 168 in the morning, bottomed at about 164 165 in the middle of the day. And on the five-day, five-minute chart, you can see this has slowly been uptrending right slowly breaking out slowly starting to dig itself out of the the hole that it's been in which is why we're covering it here in this video and again i'm in amd i've been in it for i think like four or five months i forget exactly when i bought it but my average is in the 150s i think mid 150s and yeah we're up around let's see over the last couple of days about eight percent nine percent on the stock and it's starting to heat up. You guys can see on the five day, five minute here, we're above the moving averages. Uh, you know, we have a golden cross. Well, I guess we're not above the moving averages now. I mean, we are pulling back a little bit uh, today, but overall, clearly we're holding an uptrend. We have a golden cross. It's looking very bullish here. And on the 10 day chart, you guys can see that as well. We're up a good chunk here. We're holding an uptrend. We're well above the 180 SMA, which has been acting as support on this 30 day or 30 minute, excuse me, chart. And on the 20 day chart, you can see how much we're up just from the beginning of this month. Check this out. I mean, on the 6th of September, we were at 132 bucks per share. Now we're pushing again, mid 160s. We're up. 26 percent very big move here just month to date on amd and on the four hour chart this is where it's getting quite interesting right so we were in a time period of downtrending or um you know of straight up <laughs> you know downwards momentum for the stock you guys can see here if i draw this channel out we were in this channel for months. We're talking a good half a year since the beginning of March, which by the way, during that time in March, we hit $227 per share on the stock. And since that point, again, we were downtrending, lower lows, lower highs, the whole nine yards. And we hit 120 bucks. It looks like here early August after the company reported earnings. And we've been uptrending since that point. And look at this. We're slowly starting to break the channel here, which again, we've been in for a good half a year. Uh, you can see that. And with this move now over the last couple of days, we've taken out the highs from the middle end of August, which we hit about 158, 160. And that's a good sign, guys. Very, very good sign overall here. So it's heating up. I'm liking this. We're above the moving averages on the four hour chart. We have a golden cross, which signals bullish direction, more upside potentially, of course, not guaranteed, but more upside potentially to come here. And now we're battling at this point, which is right at about 168, 170. That's where the stock struggled. It looks like middle of May, all throughout the middle of June. So if that point breaks, guys, uh, you know, 170, then we could really start breaking out. We're noticing the, the baby steps here, uh, you know, some signs, 
But for a full-on breakout and for a, you know, a run back to the 180s, 190s, we have to break 170, which I'll set my alert there right now. And personally, guys, I think this stock will go well over 200 bucks. I don't know about this year, but maybe at the beginning of next year, who knows? Maybe it does run to 200 bucks this year. Totally possible. But ultimately, I think it's going to get there. I'm in. I'm in the stock. I'm pumped. And my alert's at 170. We'll see if that ends up breaking. So let me show you guys now some basic numbers behind AMD. We'll talk about their valuation a little bit. Take a look at their upcoming earnings estimates. But first, don't forget to get up to 15 free stocks from Moomoo Moo with at least a $100 deposit, guys. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1% APY, which, guys, that's a no-brainer. So again, check out the link down below, pinned in the comment section, or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And let's take a look now at AMD's numbers. So stock's at $166 per share right now. And looking at the market cap, let me show you guys this right here. It's at $268 billion. And although it does <clears throat> a lot less revenue than NVIDIA, maybe some other players in the space. It makes sense why the market cap is low. I still think the market cap is too low. I think this, this company uh, should be valued higher, and in due time, I think it will be. Although you look at the PE, you're like, wait a second, Stas, 197 trailing 12-month PE. Oh, my goodness. And and I'll, I'll be honest, that is pretty high, no doubt about it. That is fairly high here 197 pe ratio you look at that you're like oh my goodness the value investors are crying right now looking at that but if you come here to the statistics page their forward pe which is what you're noticing with a lot of these players nvidia included broadcom their forward p is pretty low right amd's forward pe right now and this is a projection of course but it's at 30. It's at 30. You heard that right. So from trailing 12 month PE 199 down to 30 over the next 12 months, that is a huge reduction in the PE, which means, well, the valuation uh, is going to become much more attractive um, as their earnings grow, which we'll see how that does over time. Of course, we'll break down their earnings and, you know, the quarter's coming up. So make sure to subscribe here on YouTube, guys. But, yeah, their PE once was a lot more, actually. It looks like it was a lot higher um, a couple quarters ago. They're trailing 12 month. Um, it looks like at one point it was 1,000. Oh, my God, 1.3K PE ratio back in December of 2023. But, yeah, we're looking at the forward. It's at 30, 31. That's fairly reasonable in my humble opinion, guys. Price to sales at about an 11, arguably a little high there as well. But we'll see how the company uh, does numbers-wise. If we pop up their financials, they have been growing quite nicely. I mean, look, in 2020, the company reported 9.9 uh, .9 billion dollars of revenue, or 9.8 roughly, um, and now trailing 12 months, they're at 24 billion dollars of revenue. So they are growing nicely compounded over the last four years, um, doing pretty good, uh, you know, revenue growth wise there. And we'll see how their profits continue to grow over time. Let me actually <clears throat> pull up the analysis tab here uh, so we can see exactly what the the quarter coming up, what we're looking at estimates wise. Uh, so we can see a number of analysts here, 32 analysts, on average, they're looking at $0.91 cents earnings per share. Low estimate is $0.87, cents, all right? High estimate, $0.96, cents, with a year ago them doing $0.70, cents, right? So EPS will grow nicely year over year there. And revenue, we can see right here, 31 analysts. Average estimate, $6.71 billion. Low, $6.56. High, $6.84 billion with them doing $5.8 billion a year ago. So expect anywhere from 15 
revenue growth year over year here for advanced micro devices, which I think that's going to accelerate again. I could be wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it's going to, you know, push back up to the 20, 30 percent revenue growth year over year um, in due time. But for now, for this current quarter, 16 percent roughly on average is what is projected. So I'm in AMD and let me let me say this. It's not a huge position for me. It's not like I'm all in AMD or anything like that. But this and NVIDIA are my two AI plays right now. I'm in those, um, you know, roughly with the same allocation in my portfolio. Nothing too crazy. It's not like the size of an Amazon for me or a Google or uh, like a Palantir, for example. Uh, but it's in there. It's in the portfolio. I'm up on it slightly. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes over time. I think if we break 170, more upside could be coming just based on the charts. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to be in touch with what I'm doing in my portfolio, be a part of the Discord, see my charts and ideas throughout the week, all of that's on Patreon. Check it out. Link down below. And don't forget to also sign up to the mailing list. It's free. I'm sending you guys my top three stocks every single Monday. Both of those are down below, pinned in the comment section and in the description box. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.